Hello guys, KP Shameno here and I'm very happy at the moment. I was trying today, I think for six to seven hours to get this dude with the bobber. Uh, he's the unique Larchman Bass. So I'm very happy that I got him and I got now a perfect setup how you can get him. Because the main problem was, everybody knows the spot, but uh, it was hard to reach with a decent setup to get this fish in because he's very strong so what did i do i started first with the four and a half kilogram line test i could make easily 56 to 57 meters but the main problem was i lost five uniques i couldn't stop them uh, going away from me so that was not an option i needed to go a little bit higher with my test on my line and i did a perfect setup and guess what I can throw 54 meters. You need to be on 53 or 54 meters. If you throw on 52 meters, you are not going to get large man bass. So it's like two meters exact on the uh, right point that I need to be. It's not easy, but the setup is now good. So my test is uh, 5.4. Uh, so, and this fish is 5.4 kilograms. It was still a long fight. Yeah, a long fight, five minutes. But it was a lot easier than the other setups. So I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. Because uh, it, it's a very complicated uh, fish, this one. I mean, to find a solution to all the problems that we got at the moment with the match rods and all that stuff. Uh, but I think that I found a solution. So I'm going to show you guys how you need to do it. So let's keep this fish. So first of all, if you check uh, the large one best unique place is just the same as before the patch. So you need to go to the infinity tunnels. Just go over there. And if you come here at the wooden dock, you need to go to the most right uh, channel. And this is a uh, sweet spot. So you got a second bed of lilies. And in those lilies are, is the large mount bass. But the main problem is, as I already said, is that I cannot reach it if I go too low on, uh, too high on line. And if I go too low on line thickness, I'm going to break everything. I lost six seven uniques for sure so what can you do with this setup you can make just the distance that you need for this fish but your cast need to be perfect so if your cast is not perfect you're fucked and another tip that i can give you guys is if you work with the blue mark the tension casting bar is going slower I didn't know that because I was always casting without it and then I stopped and I was like oh it's going slower so it is easier because it needs to be perfect. So I'm going to try to show you guys uh, to throw 53 or 54 meters. Under 53 it doesn't work. You are going to get probably the peacock bass but not the large man bass. It's possible you get it but it's so rare to bite uh, it's unbelievable. I sat here, I was throwing 52 meters, and I sat here for one hour in game, and I didn't get one bite on it. So what you need to do is, you just need to throw over there. So throw a little bit in the middle. So what, what I do is, I throw on the lilies. It's not really a problem. So let's have a look that I can do it. So it needs to be perfect. Okay. Possible 53 or 54. I hope 53, because... Yeah, perfect. So that's what it needs to be. 53 meters. If this was now a 52, I need to reel back in. And uh, I need to go again. Because it doesn't work. So you can go with this setup 54 meters. But you need to be perfect then on the cast. And you will see right away there is already some activity. Yeah, it's if you are on the sweet spot, the activity is yeah very hard. They are starting to bite really quick. As you guys can see. And I'm probably got a fish on. Okay, I can reel this now in and I'm going to say you guys that the drag is very important here too. Because you need to put the most pressure on this fish as possible so that he gets fatigued really quick. So what you need to do is, because this setup is very, very perfect almost, you can go uh, almost maximum drag. So you see on my uh, drag, I'm now at uh, 11, I think, because nowadays we got uh, we got uh, 12 drag settings. It's 11, and you will see that 
it's perfect it's perfect don't be afraid that you break stuff you are not going to break stuff because i will explain you guys why you don't break stuff even with this high drag setting okay let's get this fish in so you see a lot of activity probably a normal one this one yeah it's a normal one okay that was a position be sure that you make 53 meters or above Otherwise, you are not getting a bite. That's the most important. It was hard to find it. Because I could easily make 57 meters. And there are a lot of guys that know that. They go with, uh, with the 8 pound test. He throws 60 meters. But you never can get this unique in with, uh, with that set. So that's way too hard. Okay, guys. Now for the... Let's have a look for the setup. Because that's really important now with this fish. So let's have a look. So I tried first with the Aspira MLR 3000. It's only a 5 kilogram test, but the main problem is I needed to go with four and a half kilogram of line. I could easily make 56 meters, but it was way too weak for the unique. So what did I need to do? I needed to go one uh, Aspira MLR higher and that's the 3500 and here you see the beauty of the setup so i'm using the nero 450 because nero 450 and uh phoenix 450 are the rods that you can throw the furthest with so it was one of those two i used i took the nero 450 because it's a level 15 gear so the guys that are here leveling are going to get this fish with this setup in their level so here it is so the nero 450 is five and a half kilograms test so that's good my uh, max drag on my uh, reel is just the same and then the mono and that's the beauty of it the mono uh, 0.3 is 5.4 kilograms so that means that it's like uh, only uh, 0.1 kilogram that's 100 gram lower than my rod and my reel perfect setup I cannot get a perfect setup than this because yeah, otherwise it's all equal and I break everything at the same time. So perfect setup and it works really well. Of course, you need to go with the pier shaped floater because he throws the furthest. And with the hook 6.0 works really well. If you go a little bit lower to the 4.0, uh, you are going to have a lot of trouble. Uh, with uh, normal you can go 702 but i use 60 because i think that the 70 is level 18 or 19 that you can acquire it so therefore i'm doing it 60 centimeters deep so this is a setup very important i'm going to wait a little bit that you guys can check it a little bit better so uh yeah that's a setup perfect setup for this fish i i don't think that i can bet go better on the setup than with this fish or i need to go very high uh on the the gear in level i mean but i don't want to do that because i like to make movies for people that are here leveling so it's always more fun if you can get the unique that's the setup let's have a look now at the the net because I didn't saw it. So you can catch a lot of stuff. I tried the best jig, a 56 G2. Because I was a little bit tired that I couldn't make the distance. But here you see it. So uh, large minus, large mount bass, trophy, trophy, trophy. It's a lot. It's only one day and in like only one hour. So unique large mount bass. It gives 11 gold and 250 uh, experience. And I'm going to check 5.4 kilograms on the leaderboard for a moment. So yeah, it's not a bad fish. I'm uh, I'm now number three because that's really strange. After the patch, you guys can see it. It's uh, I think 11 unique largemouth bass only are caught after the patch. So I think it's not easy, but here you guys got the the perfect setup. You don't need to do a lot. I got it on large minnows because I always go with gold bait, but the shiners probably work too. I cannot confirm it, but I they work if it works large minnows it works shiners too it's just a cheaper version the shiners but it will work too that was it guys you got the position you got the setup you got uh, the net uh, ah one more thingy of course the time frame it's uh, between 6 and 7 pm on a cloudy day only one hour so you need to do your best uh, to get it that was it guys i hope this guide helped you very much uh, it was one of the difficult 
guides that I needed to make ever because it was very difficult to get that fish in, to find him, to, to be on the right spot and all that stuff. But I did it and I'm very happy. And now you guys can do it too. See you later. If you like the movie, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe please. And have fun on the unique Larchmont Bass alias the Ghost Fish uh, in Fishing Planet. Bye bye.